Okay, so this is the new Baihu Lynx along with the new Baihu Steak Weapons and uh, this is what it looks like. So remember this is the limited edition version of the Lynx which means you have 10% more durability. It actually says here at the top here. And uh, we have the following modules. So two nuclear amplifiers, last stand, unstable conduit, uh, the Kestrel drone along with the Levi Hickok pilot. So uh, this pilot is new but basically when you activate your uh, Lynx's ability as you can see it activates quantum radar. So it's uh, pretty much an anti-stealth pilot. So those are just a couple of the uh, skills I have. And I have two of these links. So this one here has the uh, cryptic redeemers. Um, I have the shy drone. And I think my pilot skills are somewhat similar. Actually, this one, I kind of designed it more to hold down beacons. So we have like things like invulnerable radar, adamant guardian, um, so those two uh, specifically, you know, I use sometimes to help hold down beacons. It makes my robot a little bit stronger depending on whether I capture beacon or whether I'm down on beacons. And, uh, you know, just because we are going with the whole Baihu uh, theme, I also have the Baihu Luchador. So you can see the frontal part of the Luchador is kind of like uh, the Lynx. Okay, so if you go back here, we have a very similar design. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to run two games with these links. And uh, the second game, I might actually switch up uh, the weapons because I want to see how the Cestus does. Um, quite a few of you have asked me about that. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's jump into game number one. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Yamantau map. And I have started with the stake build here. We already have uh, someone in center, but I think we might be able to get this. Let's see. Okay, we got that guy. We should probably watch out for this one. So you see how I was able to see him? Even though he was in a low keep, it's because of the pilot. I wonder if I can sneak by here and maybe steal this beacon? I don't know. Maybe, let's see. Someone just dropped in. Okay, um... I had to use a heal there. Oh no, there's two of them. Yikes! Okay, so I, I can't see this guy. I wonder if I can hit him here. Ah! Oh, I got hit by both of them. Okay, let's try out this build. Ooh. If only I had my ability, I would be able to see him. He's got the, um, he's got a beak or something on there. Yeah, we probably want to make sure we do not let this guy get this beacon here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this angler is not in a very good position here. And they are bringing, um, I do see another lynx there. So we will be having to deal with that lynx. Let's just deal with this guy here. I'm going to reload. Uh, this player over here, I believe, has a Lynx. But I can see him. Okay, we're going to do that. The thing is, he's got the stake weapon. There we go. Okay, so we're dealing with another angler here. I kind of forced him to use his ability, so that's kind of good. Trying to break his shield. I should have my ability here soon. Let's just use the heal. We really should get this beacon here, though. Trying to keep my distance because that allows me to do more damage to him. Okay, so we have an Emugi here. Let's try to do that. Let's kill that Emugi if I can. Ah, oh, come on. We can't let that guy get our home beacon. Uh oh. Let's just deal with this guy here first. 
Yeah, I really want to make a push for a center, but it's kind of hard when my teammates are giving up uh, beacons. He's going after the uh, the crisis. Okay, so I think I should be able to help him out here. Hold on. Let's do that. There we go. And uh, we may want to stop this guy on the left side, because if he gets that beacon, they're going to be spawning in on this side. The beacon bar is not exactly working in our favor here either. Okay, so I'm assuming he's going to get that side. Okay, good. I'm actually really kind of surprised at how well this particular build is doing compared to the stake build. But I think it's more, you know, the players I've been uh, running up against, you know, the bots, has been kind of favoring this more. Plus, it's a larger map. I got to get behind cover here. There's a rook or something behind me. Let's try to focus down this Fenrir. I'm trying to drag them away from center in the hopes that my team, you know, will be able to uh, get that side or get get the center at least. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because we do need to we need to make a push for center. The red team's playing it really well. They're pushing our flanks. Oh no 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 no. That's bad, that's bad. Come on! Let's use that. Maybe I can push... <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to get to, like, their end of the map to drag them away from center in the hopes that my team can get uh, the center beacon. But it's kind of tricky if my team doesn't really push. Okay, there we go. Oh, I was hoping I could get the center. So you see, like, we have three players, four players, and only one in center. This is where we need to actually push. Uh, the thing is, my team is so hesitant. They're playing the whole camping game, but unfortunately, that doesn't really work on this map. It only works to a certain point, but at some point, you do need to capture a beacon. And, well, we're in a really bad position here we're running out of time once we get rid of this guy i'm gonna have to run for center we need to actually push the center and also the right side because if we don't get that look at our beacon bar compared to theirs yeah we're in very bad shape here even though i know we have center yeah if we start backing away like this this game is going to be over. We just all need to... And also we need to watch that guy on the right flank. Because he's going straight for our home beacon. Um, I wonder if I can... Is he going to get our home beacon? He, no, he didn't. Okay, so I wonder if I... Wait, there's someone over here. Let me just drop in here quickly. Yeah, we need to... We need to get rid of this guy. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to hold this beacon down. My team needs to get into center quickly. I gotta back away here. There's one. This guy's gonna kill me though. Guys, I need help. I need help quick. No. Oh, my team needed to be in center and they weren't in center. Now I can't, I can't help them out. Yeah, this is not gonna end well here. They have a, uh, the thing is they have the uh, behemoth back there and I can't do anything about it. Yep, I'm gonna be dead. There's no ways. I'm gonna jump here. This might help a little bit if I can suppress him. No, I can't. Okay, we got that. Yep, 
Yeah, we need to get that right side. If we don't get that right side, this game's over. Okay, I'm going to uh, jump here and see if I can maybe help my uh, teammate. Oh jeez, we need to get we need to get a five cap here, guys. It's the only way. We need to get a five cap. If we don't get a five cap, this game's over. Let's try to get a five cap here. I think we should be winning. Wow, that was a close game. Honestly, the Redeemer build did better than the stake build because this map is more wide open. So I think it, uh, it's a bit of an advantage for the Redeemer build. But this is how we ended up uh, doing. Okay, so they were actually down a player too. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Moon Map and I have started uh, with the stake build here. So I think I put like anti-control on here because I was getting locked down a lot. So I figured, you know what? This thing needs anti-control. Gonna focus down that Kepri there. Let's just use my ability. Actually, you know what? I should probably go for this one here. Okay, there we go. Gonna have to use my heal here. This guy is uh, doing a lot of damage to me. Okay, last stand on him, but unfortunately he got me. Yeah, I feel... I feel like actually the Redeemer build for me is kind of where it's at. I'm trying the Cestus now, so I want to see how this does. Um, ooh, this guy's got the glory weapons on there. That's a lot of burst damage. Trying to, uh, trying to get this Lynx. I need a heal quick. Heal! Oh my gosh, I need my ability quick too. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, unfortunately I went down. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that um, build. I think I still like the Redeemer and the Glory. I'll have to run more games. Maybe what I might do if you guys want, uh, you can put it in the, uh, the comment section. If you want me to do a separate video on the links with the Cestus, um, I can definitely do that and run a couple more games. I've been trying out this build as well. I mean, this build can do decent. It has its moments. There we go. Trying to see if I can reload here. We've got a Lynx in our uh, spawn. Ooh, that was some nice damage. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go into center here. This way it's a little bit more protected. Got to help out my buddy with this Fenrir. Whoa, what the? <laughs> that was weird. Do you see that? It's from the... Uh, I guess it's the clip, right? From these weapons. It looked like a bot was like falling from the ceiling or something. That was weird. Ooh, gotta go for this guy. I can't break his shield though. I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Can I get him? Can I get him? No, his shield. Oh. Okay, let's try the, the Mars. I gotta get into... Uh, the center here. Yeah, he's changing it. Definitely don't want that. Okay, 
You know what? His build's not really that good. What I would have run instead would have actually been flamethrowers. He's running the corrosion weapons. The flame, the flamethrowers would have done a lot more damage. In fact, I'm pretty sure he probably would have actually, in all honesty, killed me. I'm gonna back away here. Okay, so we have a, um, I believe that's a crisis with Reaper. Uh-oh. Yo! <laughs> this guy's being sneaky. What is he in? I think that guy's in a crisis. Yeah, I think this guy's in a crisis. Crisis Reaper. So I think that is going to be game here. Yeah, so far, I think I still like Redeemers. And the thing with the Redeemers too, it charges up your mothership a lot faster. So I like Redeemers and Glory Weapons. I think those are my favorite. Um, you know, after that, then I would say maybe the stake. Um, but this is how we uh, did in the second game. And uh, this is how we stacked up. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.